All right, so I picked up this old Kennedy toolbox, which is actually a Starrett branded Kennedy toolbox. I had to have a key made for the lock. I could not find the right key. The locksmith had me take it off. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, as you can see, I'm just using a big piece of steel as a buck right there, to, or a dolly, uh, to flatten those out. So what I ended up doing was uh, I took it off of there, and um, I was having trouble finding similar tubular rivets. So what I'm doing is I took the existing rivets, and I faced them off, and then I tapped them, and I've got these little teeny tiny screws that uh, go in there. And the way I'm holding it is I made myself this little fixture here which allows me to do a couple of uh, machining operations that I need to do on the rivet because you can see you know when they came out of there they were damaged as a result of removing them um, you know just used a cold chisel to to cut them off of there but what I do is I clamp them in these little teeny tiny vice jaws like so and then I throw them in the mill all right so I've got uh, my parallel set up just good enough so I can clamp the sucker down this isn't too precision of an operation and then uh, I've got my DRO set to the center right now uh, but I'll have to adjust it because I don't know where center is from here to here I've got this set correctly from there to there so let me set that up real quick actually let's take the tap follower out for the last one open that guy up My center finder in there this is one of the greatest tools I love this thing. Okay. Take it down. Let's see. Yeah, obviously I'm not in center there. Okay. So we'll get this guy going. We got this thing moving a little faster. center. Now if I... so that should be dead center. I got a bunch of trash up there I gotta clean out. It's really difficult. This, I think, is a, a number 54. All right. yeah, let's see how close we were. Pretty good. All right, I got it right on center there. The next thing I want to do is come down and just a little bit of a touch off there. I'm going to zero this guy out, and I want to go down 200,000 steep. So put this guy in our fine feet adjust. Turn it on. Coating.
halfway there. still have this on zero is uh, I'm gonna put my uh, tap follower up in my drill chuck here so that uh, I have uh, something to press against that'll keep that Cutting oil. This is really difficult. I wish I had that third hand. All right, there we go. Okay. And just take it slow. And pray that I don't break a tap. bottomed out right there. All right. Bring our follower up a little bit. We'll use some of that tension on there. And on these little tiny holes, I like to uh, keep the follower on there most of the way back out. But, uh, and that's just to keep it from doesn't make damage. Let's see. Yeah, got that far down in there. Should be far enough. All right. Look at the size of that screw. I'm getting tiny. I mean, there's I have smaller ones, but it's a big machine for such a Tiny part. Alright, let's run this down in there. Probably could stand a little bit more tap. Let's go see if we can go a little deeper.
Hopefully that's deep enough. Right. Round two. Nice. Nice. That time, took us all the way down. Nice. Alrighty, pop it out of there. Okay, dokey. go. Next thing to do is put that back on. And with that, it's done.